You'll notice temperatures take a huge dip. We max out in the low 50s both Saturday and Sunday. A Connecticut community turns out to support a local man charged with killing a hotel worker in the Caribbean. Elected officials are also speaking out to show concern and support for Scott Hapgood. CBS in New York's Tony Aiello has more. The support gives my family strength as we deal with this ordeal. We are still in shock that a simple vacation that we looked forward to for so long turned into a nightmare. You could hear the emotion in Scott Hapgood's voice addressing a large crowd of supporters, then clinging to his wife, Callie, as U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal spoke on their behalf. He deserves his day in court. That's our common goal here. And I'm hoping that the State Department will pursue every possible avenue involving the government of the United Kingdom because they must be held accountable. The UK oversees its Caribbean territory, Anguilla, where during an April vacation at a luxury resort, Hapgood got into a violent struggle with hotel handyman Kenny Mitchell. Hapgood says Mitchell showed up at the room with a knife and tried to rob him. Mitchell died, and Hapgood was charged for choking him to death. But new toxicology study points to drug overdose as the primary cause of death. So we have to ask, why are we here today? Why is Scott being put through this process? I've been disqualified from coaching my kids' sports teams, which gave me a sense of purpose. I go back and forth to Anguilla in the face of significant dangers to make sure that the facts come out because the hard science shows what really happened. President Trump tweeted two weeks ago that he was looking into the case, and Hapgood thanked the White House Counsel's Office for assisting. Hapgood will be back in Anguilla on November 11th for a hearing and a decision from a judge on whether the case should move forward to trial. In Darien, Connecticut, Tony Aiello, CBSN New York. Now to an update. The NYPD officer seriously injured during a 